Hello, this is Alex Eames from Raspi.tv. This is the Protocam by Average Man vs Raspberry Pi. So this is his Kickstarter project, and the idea is it's a very large prototyping board which uh, connects to the Raspberry Pi GPIO header and enables you to incorporate a camera in whatever project it is that you're making. So you can put the Raspberry Pi camera on this board and various LEDs or whatever you want to attach it. And you also get some nuts and bolts to mount the camera to here. So here are the nuts and bolts and also uh, a long extended header for attaching to the Raspberry Pi. So your four nuts and bolts here are for mounting the camera and that's the one that goes in the corner to stop the board from tipping when you use it. Now it's clearly been designed for the Model B. Richard actually says on his Kickstarter page that it doesn't work with the B+. Well, you know me, red rag to a bull. If somebody says something doesn't work or doesn't do something, we're here to make it happen. So I'm going to show you how you can use it with the B+. It doesn't fit perfectly, it's not ideal, but it works. So I'll just show you here. If we line that header up. Okay, so it's not a perfect fit, but if you solder it, if you solder it together just slightly higher than if it was just flat like that, then you'll have a bit of clearance at the USB port end so that it won't be touching. You can always put a bit of insulation insulating tape or something down there anyway. But this is what I'm going to do. So here we are, all soldered up now. A little bit higher than normal. But let's put it on the Model B Plus and see how well it goes on. Okay, that's a pretty good fit, isn't it? Time to put a camera on it. That's where it's going to go, but it'll be on the other side. Here's the camera installed with your four little plastic bolts. Let's connect it to the Pi and see how that goes. Okay, so that's the ribbon cable connected. Now, with the full size one, you will need to fold it out of the way. That's why Richard is providing a shorter one. Because as you can see, there's a little bit too much ribbon cable there. You could fold it away underneath if you wanted to, but for the sake of my little demo, I'm not doing that. Now one of the other things I like about this and the way that Richard's chosen to do it is that you've got this stacking header here which gives you all sorts of other options. Um, I'm quite interested in the idea of being able to mount this on some sort of pan and tilt mechanism. So if you actually use that end to connect the uh, board to the Pi then you would have trouble. But if you were to use a ribbon cable, you could put that on top like that. And then you could connect the other end to your GPIO header. With a ribbon cable, you've got flexibility and movement. So you could mount that uh, on a servo or something and have your tilt. And you could have... Uh, you could have it, the whole pie mounted on something that would swivel it round, which would give you panning, and you could have tilt in that direction. So if you had it on a robot or something, you could actually have a pan and tilt, so that it could actually swivel and see in different directions, which would be pretty cool. So it's a very nice board. Uh, it's, it's got black solder mask, gold pads, and white silk screen, like certain other products I could mention. It's a nice colour scheme and it works well. So. It's still got a couple of weeks to run, the Protocam, it's over on Kickstarter, and I will flash a link up on the screen for you. I suggest you go and get yourself one, um, because it's a really nice board, and really useful too. This was Alex Eames for Raspi.tv. Thank you for watching.